Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now. Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. Tune in to eat daily first thing as you wake up. After that, pray more on your own. Command your day. Tell the environment, the elements of nature, and all forces ruling the day to bow to your destiny. They will. And then call the day, the names you desire the day to bear for you. Anoint yourself as well. Welcome also to Sunday, the 26th in November 2023. Open your hands and your heart to receive the day's prayers and prophetic blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. Today is your day. With four days to go this month and 35 days to go this year, you will enjoy God's open heaven on a daily basis. Something be good and testimony worthy will happen for you and your family before the year is finally out. Psalm 65 verse 11 says, Thou crownest the year with goodness, and thy path draws fatness. Yes, that's your portion this end of the year. Royalty, fatness, honey. No more bitter experiences of life for everyone under the sound of my voice. God will make you important. Whoever and whatever looked down on you before will end up looking up to you because he will put his crown on you because you and everyone connected to you because of you, everyone set up for death, for evil shall be spared. There are husbands assigned to death but because of their praying wives, they are spared. Vice versa, all praying husbands, God will spare your spouse for your sake. The same thing, parents, all parents praying for your children and children praying for parents. The Lord will spare your loved ones because you are standing in the gap. Psalm 3, verse 3, is God's word for us today and it leads, but thou, O Lord, art a sheep for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, God is your glory. Yes, God is your shield. Yes, God is the lifter up of your head. Listeners, let's do this prophetic action. Let's do this if you can. Put your right thumb under your chin and push your head up a little. Be saying amen as I pray. God shall lift up your head among your peers. No power or force shall keep your head down. Receive your invisible crown. That will make others to bow for you. You are healed. You are preserved. You are exempted. And you are crowned. You are anointed. And you are highly favored. Say amen. I receive it. Remove your hand. I say by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every iron gate that kept anyone down on the same spot. Is hereby lifted by fire. As you go to church today. All those going to church. God's word shall come for you today in church. Then do this. Add something extra, no matter how small or big, to your offering in church today. A miracle of divine surprise shall follow this week. If you are not going to be in church, wherever you are, God will visit you with a miracle. You also, if you can, transmit a seed to God's kingdom work. You shall experience strange favors this week. I speak over everyone's life and destiny. That which has been a need a challenge which you have prayed, you have fasted, you have so seed that you have been believing God for, shall happen for you soon. In fact, shall happen for you now. In Jesus' name. All say, Amen. I receive it. Yes, so shall it be. November 26, celebrant, receive your birthday prayers. You are blessed and you are highly favored. May God bless your new age. You shall celebrate November 26 yearly with change in levels for good till you are 120 years. Say amen. Happy birthday. Listeners, this is day 14 of teaching and counseling in form of question and answer for effect. Two weeks journey into the world from tomorrow. We will start a two weeks journey into the world of glorious testimonies. Send your new testimonies. Also, we send the one you sent before that time did not allow us to share. But today, let's see how many issues we will still be able to treat. First one today, good morning, wonderful TPGF, daddy, an evangelist was asked 
if it's godly for the lady to pray to God to bless her with her right husband. She said no. For the reasons she gave was for the no was that it is the man that God instructed to go find the wife, not the woman. When the woman says she's praying, it means she's still enjoying singlehood. Sir, is the evangelist right? Wow, no, it's not right. Yes, it is true that it is the man that should do the seeking or the finding. But ladies too, in their waiting for God to send the man, must be praying to God and also be sensitive to know when the right man proposes. Ladies should use all that we have been teaching here to profile the right man. They will say, yes, I do too. Ladies should pray intensely, even do warfare prayers on this issue while waiting. The evangelist was wrong. Next, good day, sir. I need a fatherly advice. I got married 2021. Husband stays outside the country. He comes once a year. No child yet. We are pray we are planning IVF. He promised taking me along after wedding, but now he has changed his mind that I will have to remain in Nigeria. Sir, I have become a shadow of myself. No good communication between us. No peace. I'm emanciating by the day due to unhappiness and loneliness. I am planning, I am planning walking away from this marriage from next year if there is no conception. Wow, we have thought on this many times. How can you say you are married to a husband that stays abroad, only visit once a year, and you say you are expecting pregnancy? How? You will have been better off not yet married, still waiting. You can't be breaking God's principles and be claiming promises. I've said that again and again. He said what God has joined together should not be put asunder. You did. That man lied to you ab initio from the beginning. He never meant you to join him abroad. I see answers questions like this to teach other singles a lesson not to fall into this same type of trap. No matter how desperate you are, lady, please, you make a, you have made a big mistake. When nurse is around, sit down for a thorough discussion. Bring both parents into this. If he's not willing to take you along or come back to stay, move on with your life. It means you were deceived. You never truly got married. Next, good morning, sir. I'm asking this question on behalf of my sister. Her husband runs a business and he makes good money, but does not save money. So whenever he returns home from business, she takes some money from his purse and goes save it in the bank without his knowledge. Now she has saved something substantial. She is now asking if what she's doing is right. Wow, oh no. How can that be right? Taking husband's money behind his back. How can that be right? That is pilfering, if not stealing. But then, what kind of business does the husband do that brings huge money home regularly without knowing that a part of it is being taken away all the time? No accountability or structure in that business? I smell a rat. She should find out the kind of business the husband is doing that brings huge money home that is not accountable for, that is not accounted for. Now, then discuss saving an investment for future with the husband. She should stop taking the husband's money behind him. That is not right. Listeners, let's take one more. Good day. I'm into property and land in Abuja, but has nothing to show for it. Client will make requests after negotiation and, negotiation and agreement with price. They will not show up again. People will promise me, but fail to fulfill their promises. I don't know what to do again. Wow. To start with, are you a professionally qualified property consultant? Do you belong to that body of association in that industry? Because there is a way those in that industry link up with themselves for business. If you are, then persist. Don't give up. Put all that all the strings you know in that business. Engage all the insightful players and faith actions we teach here. Your big time business door shall open soon. Listeners, please forward this to all of your contact. Do so daily. Join us this morning in the two Sunday services uh, on ground and online. 7 to 9 a.m. for service, 9 to 11 a.m. second service, Nigeria time. 
it is an anointing service to end the month. So get your olive oil bottle ready for blessing and consecration. World Lifting Conference 2023, also known as Shiloh, is counting down 15 days away, December 11 to 17. Three sessions each day, morning, afternoon, evening. Joining me to minister this year are Pastor Matthew Ashimolo of KICC London, Pastor David Ibiomi, Salvation Ministry, Portacot, Tokwe Alabi, Nathaniel Mbasi, and Big Bolaji will be for Sons Ministration. Don't miss it. All sessions shall be live streamed. Sunday is a good day to transmit your tithe, personal and corporate tithing to the uh, fertile ground of God's kingdom in this commission. Also, your battle seed, thanksgiving, partnership commitment seed, your vows, the 11, 11, 11 seed we are sowing, the 11th hour miracle seed. Then connection to grace, seed 68. You can listen to other people's testimonies. If you do what they are doing, you will get what they are getting. If you want us to send you the commission's account and the PayPal detail, send a chat message. Or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That line only. Do not send money to personal account. Don't send money to any motherless baby's home or any orphanage. And we are not the one operating that way. Don't send money to anybody that says they were praying, they saw a vision of you, and then you should go and donate money. No, no, no. That is not us. They will use my voice. They use my picture. They use my name. They are frost stars. Block them. Have nothing to do with them. I speak to everyone's life today. Higher and higher you will go. No evil will come near your borders. God will send angels in form of men, and men in form of angels, they will surround you. What you need part time for your changing level, for your advancing forward, shall be adequate. You will never be run down. You will never be cut short. No power or force will put darkness on you. You are walking in the light. You are shining where you are. Your tears shall be more dropped. God will replace tears with laughter and everyone crying to God for one thing or the other. Testimonies shall follow. The God of this commission, the God of Femi Emmanuel, your own God also will answer you. He will make you happy, make you fulfilled in all areas. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed. Have you. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now.